Greetings and thank you for another day to come your way and spend this time and a few moments with you in God's Word and prayer together. This week, we are reflecting or just pondering on the theme, Still I Will Praise Him. That is, no matter what we're going through, we choose to praise God. In Romans chapter 4, verses 20 and 21, speaking about Abraham, the Apostle Paul writes, it says, he says, He, that is Abraham, did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. You must understand that when we praise God, it is an expression of our faith in God. And also when we praise God, our faith in God is strengthened. So you look at Abraham here. What the, what the Bible, the commentary about his journey of faith. Now we know Abraham's journey of faith till he saw the birth of Isaac was a period of 25 years. That, wasn't a very, that was not a short time. But he journeyed with God for 25 years, believing God, waiting for the promise. And the Bible tells, tells us here that he didn't waver at the promise of God through unbelief. He didn't let unbelief come in and cause him to uh, waver at God's promise. But instead, it says here, he was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God or giving praise to God. So how did Abraham strengthen himself in faith? The answer is here. He gave glory to God. He gave praise to God. Now, we don't find exactly how he did it. We don't find a description in Genesis on how exactly he did it. So it doesn't matter how Abraham actually praised God or gave glory to God. The point is this, that you and I, in our own ways, can give glory to God while we are journeying through that time of waiting and anticipation and expectation uh, or sometimes we're going through difficult times and we are expecting God to come through. While we're journeying through it, we give glory to God and we are strengthened in faith. So why do we still praise God? When we're going through difficult times, waiting times, unexpected challenges, why do we still praise Him? Because we know that when we praise Him, it's an expression of our faith and it also strengthens our faith. So be strengthened in faith as you choose to praise God. Let's pray. Father, we choose to praise you. We choose to exalt you. We choose to magnify you. Irrespective of our situation and our circumstance. And we thank you, God, that you are faithful to your promise. That what you promised, you are able to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.